Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, all you uh, investors out there. So it's kind of an interesting morning this morning. Sorry for the late update, but uh, we opened up a trade this morning. The market went a little bullish. Uh, the NASDAQ is still stumbling over itself, but the chart is uh, showing something we'll talk about here in a second. The stimulus bill. Stimulus is a done deal. So those $1,400 checks will be going out. The PPP and all that protections will be going out. And and about 8 billion pounds of pork. So let's see how this kind of digests, right? You saw your interest rates this morning, right? They, they, they kind of that 10 years stayed around that 1.5, uh, pushed towards that 1.6 when the stimulus was approved, but uh, so far so good in holding those rates. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, the market looks like it's getting a little bit risk on, but the NASDAQ looks like it's sick. Now that's bad news for all these people that we talked about it, right, in December. We said, be careful, be very careful if you're buying tech at that point, December and January. And the reason was you had some reality coming down the line in the market and it was fun. It was a great run and stuff like that. But I think you're you're seeing your Kathy Woods and all these analysts we talked about before, right? Every single one of them came on CNBC, Fox Business News and said, yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like 2000, but this time's different. <laughs> well, so far it's not. Uh, we're starting to see a revaluation in all these overpriced tech, um, and that's really starting to hit the NASDAQ. It's actually subduing the S&P 500, too, because right, what do you have on the S&P 500? You got Microsoft, you got Apple. Apple's having a rough day again today. Um, your normal leaders are not leading, and that's if these leaders step up like your apples and stuff, this market will just go uh, bananas. So we'll see how it plays out during the day. Let's go kind of take a look. Uh, let me share screen with you cats. Let's go see, uh, refresh CNBC because it tends to get a little behind. You see how that your conundrum there, your s and is up about a half percent, your Dow's up a percent and a half, but your NASDAQ down about a percent. Now we've talked about that, right? 12686 puts it in correction territory. Don't listen to that, that chatter until it actually closes there. Okay, guys, uh, let's pop on over and look at a chart. Here's your S&P 500 chart. Let me move that handsome guy out of the way. And you can see it's good, good technicals here. We talked about it the last few days, right? We're in this sideways movement. If during the day, um, if you're watching the market, these bars seem like the end of the world, the beginning of the world, right? But when you look at a big chart there, you see all we did was go sideways. We just did it very dramatically. And then this morning, you kind of got a little resolution off that here. And let's see if this can take us to the all-time high. Uh, the NASDAQ, on the other hand, and here's the thing, guys. Um, you look at Apple and stuff. Apple very subdued this morning, down 3%, right? That's contributing to the uh, NASDAQ. Let's go take a look at Microsoft, some of your usual leaders, right? You can see Microsoft's down about a percent. This is weighing on tech. Uh, these are the guy, These are the companies that led us through this bull market, right? The last 12, 13, 14 years. Um, and now the market's moving up without them. Well, there's a little push and pull going on here. Uh, we'll see how it shakes out. But if you look at that NASDAQ chart, we kind of sectioned it a little bit here for you, for you newer chartists. Um, that's right there. That's your correction territory. So we'll see how it closes today. But here's another uh, uh, example of why you don't get caught up in emotion while you're trading and stuff, guys. You see that red bar, very dramatic. It actually tipped into that correction territory, right? But it never closed there. You see the next day we had that big green day, right? Remember, we started off way down here and we just ran like a banshee. Today, we're just still right in that channel still. So really, it looks a little dramatic, but is it the end of the world? Well, if it closes under 12,686, it's in correction territory. But until it closes there, right, it's still just these flashes, all right? So be patient with your trade, especially your tech trade. If you like tech going forward, this is probably the time to uh, buy, right? You buy the dip. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, let me pop back on screen here. And other than that, guys, just kind of take it, take it, take it um, 
cautiously right now. You know, like I said, the stimulus bill is paid, passed. So that's that's on the books. That's one point nine billion dollars of debt. They're already talking about the next bill. Um which is supposed to uh, contribute to more debt and down the line and down the line, down the line, right? The checkbook's open. <laughs> Anyways, now that the yields, uh, we talked about it last week, right? Now, what was what was damaging for the market was the, the speed of that move uh, to 1.5, 1.6 on the 10-year. But as you can see, over the last few days, it's just kind of stuck there. And, and uh, I don't think rates will go down, but they're not going to get any higher. They're kind of in a conundrum. They bounced up to 1.6 yesterday, right, um, when the stimulus went through. But they're just kind of holding it uh, 1.5, 1.7, right, right around that 1.5 level. And let them go. It, it, inflation will come with growth, especially if we're expecting this big growth. But if it's controlled, it's okay. But the problem is we see going forward, going into spring, late spring, is that we don't have the defense mechanisms that the market likes available to uh, combat this. So, um, And that, of course, is raising rates right now. We've talked about it before. The Fed could flip gears and stop buying the two-year treasury and go into something longer and try to adjust things that way. But really, interest rates are the key here when you have uh, massive inflation and growth and stuff like that. Look at it like for you new traders, look at it like a human being that grows. Uh, as a human being grows, right, you have to get new shoes because you need bigger shoes, bigger pants, bigger belt, bigger all this stuff, right? Same thing like the market. That's inflation, right? You got to pay more to get new clothes. Well, the market is growing and it's natural that inflation comes in. But you usually have these controls uh, that you don't really have available right now. This market bought. Uh, especially tech guys over the last two months um, we talked about it now we didn't jump in that tech rally we stood back um, so we missed that tech rally but we didn't we didn't have a lot of faith in it it was stimulus induced it was steroid induced it was false uh, aspiration induced and regardless of what all these experts were saying about this time being different, an overvaluation is an overvaluation, guys. Uh, you know what I mean? You can you can spin it any way you want, uh, but it's still overvaluation. And the and the pipers coming to pay. Look at Tesla. Look at Tesla. Can't get back over six hundred. Um, uh, Kathy Wood with her with her uh, arc. Uh, that thing's just getting beat up, right? She bought a whole bunch more Tesla a few days ago. Uh, the tech trade is kind of unwinding, guys. And what we think will happen going forward, and this is for you traders um, that tune in to hear what we think. Uh, what I think is going to happen going forward is I think your tech trade is going to resolve itself. And what I mean by that is all these overvaluated, high-flying, wishful thinking uh, tech trades uh, like people paying 300 times earnings, 350 times zero earnings, right? How do you do that on zero earnings? Well, they find a way. But all these companies that are doing that, like your Teslas and stuff, just overvalued, overvalued, uh, they're going to correct. But at some point, your leadership will start taking its footing again. And so why we say right now, uh, if you're watching the NASDAQ, watch Apple. OK, if Apple gets its footing and starts reversing, that'll probably show you the be the first sign that the money is starting to move back into the traditional leaders, your Apple, Microsoft, Netflix, Amazon, FANG stocks, right? Uh, popular term for them. But there's more than just the FANG stocks. There's leadership. Uh, if things if leadership starts taking back the lead, uh, then this NASDAQ will repair itself real quick. But look, guys, uh, until it technically closes be below that correction level, let's don't get too excited about it. Um, we opened up a new trade today. We bought Ali at the open. Um, we bought some options going out to April on that. Uh, those are already working out real well. Ollie's uh, just blowing up. 
So right now we're we've we've got those puts on the VIX at twenty dollars, which are getting close to making us some money. Uh, we lost that spider short we had; it came so close, guys, uh, last week. So that's a loss. Uh, we don't run from our losses, and we do lose in that we lost that spider trade. But we're still sitting on that VIX at twenty dollars. Those uh, puts, and we're getting a nice bullish market. Market just Dow just pushed five hundred points uh, while we're talking. Uh, we still have the Coke short <laughs> going out to April. Uh, Coke's having a good morning this morning, but we think there's about a peter out and stuff. But we added the Ollie uh, calls, and we also have those Apple calls that we started buying last week. So that's the way we're playing it going forward. Very light on options right now, guys. Uh, maybe a little trimming on the portfolio if you've got stuff with big wins. Um, if you, if you, especially if you've got something in a little bit more. Uh, uh, optimistic tech, right? <laughs> we'll call them that. We won't call them overvalued. We'll call them optimistic. Uh, if you've got some profits in that, you know, maybe take some profits on that. Nobody ever lost money taking profits, guys. And we're, you know, I was watching Charles Payne on Friday and he said the, the great words is, you know, you buy a stock and it goes up 200% and you think it's never going to stop going up. Well, you know, sometime it does. Reality always, uh, uh, gravity always takes a co course, right? Don't be afraid to take some profits, guys. Uh, I always talk about, well, you know, that guy that bought Apple at 50, now he's at 150 and he's billions of dollars. Along the way, though, uh, between dividends and, and price acceleration, uh, he definitely should take some profits. You just keep the position, though, right? It, 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 don't be afraid to take some profits, okay, guys? Uh, other than that, we'll just kind of see how it works out. Let's see how we close today. The Nasdaq's pushing back up as we speak. Uh, like I said, the Dow just needed another high at 532 points up. Uh, and the, the s and just kind of trickling. s and is kind of in the middle right now. If you guys are looking for a potential play, maybe some spiders. Um, because if, uh, like I said, if Apple and all them come join this party, uh, the S&P will take off. Uh, so let's see how we shake out here, guys. Uh, we're not going to make any more plays until we see some resolution here as far as the NASDAQ and stuff. But other than that, you guys have a great day. It was a great weekend. Um, hope you guys had a great weekend also. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Don't forget, tomorrow is Tuesday. And what is Tuesday? Stock of the week day. Okay, guys, last week we gave you ET. Uh, let's go. Let's go take a look at ET, guys. <laughs> together uh so the stock we gave you last week was et let's pull that thing up uh, there you go uh doing good this one again uh take a look at this it's up about half a percent but it's an oil stock energy transfer um but it's a nice cheap one under ten dollars it's got a lot of room to grow it's got good dividends got great dividends um you can see they're 15 cents a share on an eight dollar stock and their earnings they're profitable so and it's only going to get better with oil going up and energy consumption going bananas uh, so take a look at that. But tomorrow we will be back with another great stock pick. Um, the week before it was CCI. CCI is down a little bit today. But um, again, we're getting that big dividend and it's a great stock. Uh, other than that, guys, you have a great Monday. OK, we'll be back tomorrow morning. And let me pull you off screen share. Uh We'll be back tomorrow morning with another update. Hopefully, we'll be on time if we don't get busy making the picks in the morning. But uh, that's the way we are. We have, we put a little money on the board with Ollie. We already had some money in those Apple calls. Um, and we also have those VIX puts. So if this market does take a nice another leg up, we should be cashing in some good stuff. Hope you guys are cashing in too. Remember what I said about your stocks? up big don't hesitate to trim a little bit okay put a little bit of that money in your pocket okay uh other than that you guys have a great day trade safe okay uh don't forget the number on the nasdaq 12 all right all right